Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Man, wrong hat. You know what I'm saying? We should be talking about told you. We're talking about boxing in general, right? But we talk about the sanctioning bodies, right? In boxing, it's too many of them. And because it's too many of them, it's corrupt. We don't know who champions are. We got too many things. And then, you know, people are making up other stuff all of the damn time, right? So what's the problem? The problem I have with all of this is, you know, when you can be a champion or you can be undisputed, everybody can get in the way, right? And one of the worst ones that we've had of late is this franchise title, which to me is the Charlo belt, right? Because bottom line is if Jamal Charlo wasn't dangerous, we would never have any of this confusion, never have a franchise title because the WBC president, Mauricio Sullivan, helped Canelo to not fight his mandatory and Charlo because they had no more excuses because Charlo had had two or three interim slash eliminators. So it was like time, we got to make a decision, Canelo. And Canelo, he said, to quote Solomon, he requested it. But he couldn't request the franchise because it didn't exist. So what Canelo told him was, I ain't fighting Charlo, let's figure something out. Since then, the president has been all over the place. He said when it came out that it was a belt des designated for so, uh, an elite special fighter who has done so much for boxing or something like that. That's not the direct quote, but something very similar to what I just said, right? Oh, we let Canelo slide. But then Lomachenko requested it to not fight, to not fight Devin Haney, right? Got a theme going here, Charlo and Haney, right? Two dangerous brothers. We ain't fighting them, so he got it, right? Now, not to note that Royce O'Sullivan said this was for Canelo and it's not transferable, which means if Canelo get his butt whooped, He's franchise title, right? So this is what was going down. Why are we getting away with that? I don't know why we got away with that, but it is what it is, right? So anyway, Lomachenko gets the franchise title, loses to Teofimo Lopez. He didn't have to fight Devin Haney. Lose to Teofimo Lopez, and Teofimo Lopez is what Solomon says. Also asked for the. You know, requested the franchise title, and he got it. So it was transferable. All of a sudden, right away, he asked for it. Then Teofimo loses to Combosis, right? George Combosis. Now he's the guy. So is Teofimo Lopez or George Combosis elite fighters who've done so much for boxing? Not really. So why they have it? Now it's transferable. Now the newest quote from Solomon is, all you have to do is request it. It ain't old enough to request Right? And he know ain't no brothers requesting it. That's why he's saying you could request it. Man, so what has happened of late is, you know, Marisa Sullivan has come out and said that Devin Haney is some other kind of champion. Now, I think he gave it the name the Pride Champion or something. Right? That's what Devin Haney is. So, because Devin Haney is the real champion. So, now they're calling him the Pride Champion. So, uh, Cambosis is undisputed now, is what he said. Now, even though... This all started from Lomachenko not wanting to fight Devin Haney, right? Now, note, WBC, WBC president has two champions who both think that they're the WBC champion in lightweight division, right? He can just order them to fight. But what did I tell you? We're not giving Devin Haney an opportunity. And what this here is about is also what I've told you. It's about is Lomachenko, going, they're going to make fights Cambosis. The winner of that, preferably they're going to call Undisputed. And now they'll have a reason and a right to do so. And Devin Haney won't have a right to fight the winner of that fight. So the winner of that fight, preferably Lomachenko, will be Undisputed. That's all this is about. And I told you it before. Now, what do you do? You boycott everything that Sullivan has to do. I've told you this man is rogue and he's not even embarrassed by saying these things and the boxing industry is letting him get away with this rogue behavior. Ro I mean, it's absolutely rogue. And I know people have these channels and they're, you know, exasperated or what, what is a good word? You know, 
they're, they're totally happy. This is totally happy. This first one to hit me that you know you can interview maybe of Marisa Solomon. Damn that! Take his significance away. The guy is rogue. He needs to be investigated. We, you know, why are you coming up with all this crap? Just make Combosis and Devin Haney fight, and you got one. But you don't want to do that because Devin Haney could possibly win. We didn't have Demetrius Andre versus Canelo. You know why? For undisputed at middleweight division? Because, damn it, Demetrius Andre could possibly win. Right? So right now, we're basically saying De Devin Haney, who did exactly what he was supposed to do, wants to fight everybody. He can't get it. They won't even, they're won't. they not going to let him get an opportunity to become undisputed. And the way to do it right now is to make sure you demote him now to some damn pride champion. All these new names. So see, that don't mean nothing all of a sudden. We're going to make the, the belt that's fake mean something because Cambosis has it or Teofimo Loba has it or Lomachenko has it. Basically, a brother don't have it, right? And we're not going to give him an opportunity to become undisputed. Don't let this happen. Simply boycott everything. This, is, this news is so important that it's about how we're going to act. Because let me tell you, the boxing world makes sure they'll pay attention. With this Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence stuff going on right now, it's not, it's not healthy. You know, it's two brothers, awesome, let them fight when they get around to it. Right? Let them fight when they get around to it. But don't be splitting bloods and crips and bloods and something up in here because of something. No, no. Let the brothers fight when they get... Get a chance, cause when they when they about to fight for undisputed, watch some stuff happen. Watch when Spence and Terence Crawford about to fight for undisputed, something about some sanction body gonna get in the way with something. Watch, this is the way it is. So make sure that we recognize what's going on right now. Devin Haney is actually the WBC lightweight champion. They're making sure that no one has to see him by saying that Cambosis is without fighting Devin Haney. He's just going to be undisputed, just like they were trying to do with Teofimo Lopez, just because this rogue dude is saying that this is so, instead of forcing them to fight, and we're supposed to just be okay with that, right? Hell no. No one is going to be no damn WBC champion until they fight Devin Haney, period. That's what you get in your head. There's no reason to listen to this dude anymore, because listen, people go as far as you let them. It's over now. Stop. Don't invite them nowhere else, right? If y'all see people doing videos and they got them on there, cut it off immediately, right? No likes, no nothing, right? The dude has to, you got to get him out because why is he feeling so comfortable by doing stuff like this? I know, because it's America, right? And don't, don't, don't get me started. Y'all know I ain't going to do it this video, but it's the America. Bottom line, it's two of them, right? And we're trying to force ourselves together. We should have two of them. This should be illegal, what he's doing to this fighter. We got so many awesome, young, badass black American fighters who America's not behind. We got superstars. I call them the Negro Leagues. All of them are just super duper stars if they were living anywhere else. And we keep going for this crap, right? Instead of this guy coming out and saying, you know something? I'm sick of the discrepancies. WBA trying to get rid of their belts. Okay, I made up some stupid stuff for Canelo. Y'all know I did. But okay, cool. I'm going to tell you what. We're going to solve this in the lightweight division. Damn with Lomachenko. Lomachenko will have to come see somebody. Devin Haney versus Combosis. The winner of that is undisputed. And hey, Lomachenko, if you want to come see them after that, then good for you. We'll get, make you first. No, they don't want that because everybody's trying to be able to do this without fighting Devin Haney. And proof, Lomachenko went to get the franchise title. Teofimo Lopez won the title. Didn't want to fight Devin Haney for undisputed. Combosis beat, beat Teofimo Lopez. He don't want to fight... Devin Haney for Undisputed. Devin Haney's mandatory, and Ryan Garcia didn't want to fight him either. Jojo Diaz didn't first. He was trying to, as, as his mandatory, wanted to fight your boy Ryan Garcia, but forced to fight uh, Devin Haney. Got beat easily. That's why Devin Haney can't get no fights. Come up from afar, you can say stuff like, he's chinny, uh, he's young, he's boring, he's this and that, without fighting him. And that's easier to do. That's why Canelo ain't fighting Andre. Because from afar, you can say, horrible fighter. Right? And you ain't got to fight him. And if no one's going to force you to fight an uh, undisputed fight for 40 million, if no one's going to force uh, Cambosis or anybody else to fight Devin Haney for undisputed, and you could talk smack from afar and nothing happens, why would you do it? 
there's where we come in. Boycott, baby. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.